America's in good hands this time around. I recall um, when uh, the war was getting prepared to go into Iraq and the folks asserted that they were weapons of mass destruction and chemicals and all this kind of stuff. And today there's none. And then of course, um, almost got bankrupt all these uh, trillions spent in, in the war. Now here we have President Obama. And not that he is seeking war, but folks are trying to get him into war, which is what a continuation of the Bush. Bush went into the Middle East and they're trying to force us into the Middle East by these various games. And so um, the enemy is saying that, yeah, look, they use chemicals, go in. And when the economy slips and, and gets dislocated, the whole world economy gets into trouble, then they're going to start blaming President Obama. So I think that uh, this is a prudent move to make. You have to be sure. You know what would happen? We go into um, I, um, to Syria, and then we discover that it was the opposition that did it. I mean, it would be so embarrassing, and that would add a little more... Um, more emphasis and more uh, pathos to the to the cry of um, foolery, and perhaps um, would make this dash in the economy the greatest in history. So, I, I think President Obama is on the right track. Do not rush into nothing. Make sure that when you move down the road, nobody's going to come back and accuse you of any war crimes.